presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you with your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I... I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate the growling a problem with us yet. Now, Tom O'Brien. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting here for Tom O'Brien, the one and only Tom O'Brien, who's away today, and I'm sitting in. I am here at TFNN. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour every market day, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock Eastern Time. And my service here is the uh, opening call, daily newsletter. And uh, let's just get right to the market. Dow's down 260 at 35,611. Been warning for a little while. Let me just move this chart. This is the daily chart on the left, weekly in the middle, monthly in the, on the right. And here's a 120-minute chart. And what we were looking at is the pullback from the doji candle of 36,565 on the 8th of November, where uh, there was a spike to the upside and almost an immediate pullback. We were very fortunate at that point to short the Dow uh, within 30 point, 40 points of its all time high within an hour of the opening, uh, actually, within about 20 minutes of the opening. And we took profits on the way down. We weren't able to get just missed getting just. Got taken out with a stop and uh, didn't get back in. And here it is down to 35,614 level. You can see what I drew in here left side, right side, price time match to the 35,490 low that was made around about late October and it spiraled for about one to about eight sessions to that doji candle peak F in the Chapman wave uh, high, all time high. And you can see the MACD, the moving average, start to turn down the stochastic. It made an M-shaped pattern and then started to move down. The on-balance volume still showed strength, but it was the Chapman Wave notation right there plus the 120 minute chart that gave me a clue to say, hey, this could in fact be a turnaround and a fairly important turnaround. I'm not saying crash anything. I'm just saying an important turnaround starting with the Dow. And it did. It's worked out uh, in that way. You've almost got your one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. So in the 120 minute chart, we're getting a little bit close to some kind of support. Let's see what happens over the weekend. We'll talk uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. Meantime, let's talk about the weekly chart. The weekly chart is going to make an alternate count. I don't make this complicated. I am going to say that at any time in this coming week, instead of having a really good bounce to the 35,950, 36,050 level, if in fact there's another pullback, it doesn't have to be a close, just a pullback that hits 35,000, 300s and goes underneath the 35,369 level that is support the 14 period exponential moving average support in the weekly. I would have to consider that is an alternate count peak D and that now the day the daily sell mode which it's in has increased to at least the sell signal in the Dow weekly. So far the monthly chart is just acting beautifully. You see this trend, these two little trend lines, the green and the red line. That's going. It's what I call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. And look how many times we've gotten right to it, not broken out above it. So any move in the latter part of November, the first week of December, that takes out 36,565 on a closing basis would be really good action. I'll, I'll talk about how I'm thinking the year will play out to the to December the 31st. But in the meantime, QQQ helped by just a handful of stocks. It's just amazing how few stocks it is. Um, all time high today at 405.30. Leg D in the Chapman Wave method. I'll do this. I need to. I need to show this since you. 
uh, for those of you who are not used to anything that I do, although I've been here over 18 years, um, in the Chapman Wave uh, notation, we try to identify the lowest low bar and then count each successively higher peak. It's either at peak A breaking to leg B or B pulling back and then breaking to leg C, where we upgrade from a buy signal to a buy mode. Doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a one minute chart or whether it's a one month chart, it's the same principle. So it's, it's a, a fragment or a fractal, gets repeated over and over again in the same format. And that says there should be at least four, four higher peaks to come, alphabetize them sequentially, A, B, C, D. It's at that fourth highest peak that other things can happen. Here we are, look on the left, leg D. So we're going to be watching this really closely. Um, but it could go E, F, and G, and even recycle. I don't want to get into that. It's unnecessary right now. What is important is that we say the weekly chart is bumping into the upper trend line resistance right there. And now I can say there's a chance that I could turn this into green, make this red right here, and there's a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart that says it's right at the upper end. If, in fact, it breaks out and closes on a weekly basis about 412, that is really faint. Closes, that is. That's eight points. Uh, yeah, eight points from 10 points from here, eight to 10 points from where we are. Uh, that'll be fantastic. And the monthly chart has shown no weakness whatsoever, but it is bumping into a very long term trend line resistance. And it has it's a peak E in the 120 minute chart. So I'll give parameters to look for in a moment. I want to finish this before the break. IWM, the Russell 2000, like the Dow, been very weak since the 8th of November at 244.46. And now it's trading at 232. I mean, this is a pretty serious pullback in the shorter term. The weekly chart did that peak D that we were looking for, discussed it in detail all week, how rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience this has gone on from Feb from March at 2.34 down to two weeks later, 207.21. And finally, it made that peak D, that leg D, it's going to be a peak D this week, going last week to 244.46, and now it's back into the range of the rectangles, one of the patterns we look at all the time based on the Chapman Wave methodology, and it's a leg D in the monthly. So this is going to be really important. I do want to go to gold, and I want to say gold was holding very nicely. This is now um, completed. I can take this away. This is the, the oval pattern because it's failed. And now it's turning around. It's got a, a, an arch formation, one of the patterns I look at all the time. Right there, left side arch, right side arch. And it says if gold is able to get back to 1860, it was 1861 by Tuesday, that's really good. But if it starts to fall, that whole 1835 to 1828 area should be good support. And to go with that, we'll look at silver. Silver is um, down some. Also made that peak F top in the daily chart. Weekly chart is holding steady. And we're really looking at silver trading between 25, 35 and 24.34 the next uh, couple of days. Crude oil is pulling back very sharply. It made that top on the 25th of October to uh, at 85.41. It's been making lower lows and lower highs. And I may as well just do this quickly. The dollar has been fabulous. The dollar has almost made a leg D in the daily. I'll be back in a moment. That was a chat with Tom O'Brien. This is the Tom O'Brien Show. We'll be back. Dow's down 268. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, I was asked if I could go a little slower and of course I've got a South African accent even though I've been here for decades and decades and decades, probably a lot longer than some of you have been alive here in America. So all I am saying is that um, within the context of the markets, we've got a diversion. We've got the down the IWM, the Russell 2000, very weak. We've got the QQQ, NDX, uh, NDX 100 trading vehicle, um, that's the QQQ uh, series. And we're looking at the, the trust going to an all-time high. At the same time, the S&P is just about to go to the all-time high. This is such an important week. And when uh, Tom asked me if I, do the, if I could do the show, I said, wow, the last hour of one of the most important weeks that we've had in a long time. Absolutely, I'll make time for that. And here we are with, for instance, the SMH, is the, SMH the Semiconductor Index goes to an all-time high today. At this point, I've, there's no other count that I need to use. I'm calling this a leg F in the Chapman Wave methodology. It could be an alternate count because there was a Chapman Wave um, in this cup formation with the left side, right side price time at, oh, talking about that. Let me just show you this right now. Left side, right side price time. Look at this. Here's the one-minute chart of the E-mini. It goes from this low at about uh, 232. Uh, in the uh, Eastern times, and it goes to peak A, peak B, peak C, and what does it do? It goes to peak D. It fails to hit the 200 period moving average, which was before at the peak E. Look at that, how many times it couldn't break above it. And you've got the 9 and 14 period moving averages holding, and then boom, they turned down and dropped sharply to the 46.95 area, and now it's rallying and rallying. And what did I draw in? Subscribe People in the den or saw me draw this in uh, before, three o'clock that's uh, right here going to the dean then i drew in the arch formation i started drawing in the left side right side price time match one of the techniques of the chapman wave yes the this is the plumb line right there that's the midpoint that i chose and I, I chose to give this number of bars the same number of bars on the right to make an arch formation that could take out the low of uh, 49, 95, 75, and that would be in the same number of bars. Well, I was wrong. It was one bar late, but there it is, and it took it out and went down to the uh, 40, 4693 area, and now it's trying to bounce. One of the techniques I use, the reason why I brought this up, is it was the same type of technique I used for the SMHs, and it said that by about um, November the 5th to the 8th, there should be a break to the upside. Well, there has been. It went all the way to 305.95. 
This is a market vector semiconductor ETF. And what does it do? It pulls back and then makes this rectangle formation going back to the high. One, two, three, four, five bars off the low. And boom, yesterday, earning fantastic earnings. Doji candle. Today, it goes even higher. And so far, it looks like it's going to close above that um, doji high of yesterday, which makes 311.64 the key support on any pullback. Because in this particular pattern, the way I use can I only use a, I, I've made my own two candle uh, chart pattern recognition. But the standard one is the doji candle. But my, my interpretation is if it closes the very next day or within two days above the doji high after the gap up, after a gap up, then it makes the open and close of that previous day a really important support. So that makes around about 311, 310, very good support. Now we're going to be watching the SMHs. Why? Because in the weekly chart, there's a single leg up. In the monthly chart, it is just a huge breakout. This has been the lead, as I've said, for not months but years. The SMHs, the semiconductors, that, that's part. Of, that's the engine of the economy. When the way the SMHs go is generally what the market tends to do. Sometimes the SMHs don't make an all-time high. Then you got to watch out for some deeper pullback in the market. And sometimes they make them a high a little later. And you remember, I like to think that major bottoms in the market are made in unison within a day or two of one another. All the indices and key stocks make lows. And then they break to the upside. Tops are made sometimes sequentially. Sometimes it's months, March of 2000, January of 2000 for the Dow, March for the SMHs and for the S&P. That's what you can get. You saw that even in 2007 at the highs. But you made that 2009 low in unison within Friday for the Dow, Monday the 9th of March for the uh, S&P. So I'm watching this really closely. Why? Because... I don't have a sign other than the Chapman Wave notation to say that there should be some kind of a pullback here. The MACD is strong, stochastic is very good at 93% in the daily. On balance volume uh, is, is somewhat overbought. That's the, one of the clues that says, oops, there could be a bit of a pullback here. Um, the relative strength is not as good as it was at that last peak back at 305 back in early November, but it's still very good. Um, it's rising. So within that context, we've got to watch this very closely. Why? Because if on Monday there is no new high above 314.07 or whatever the high is, it's 35 minutes to go. Anything can happen. But let's just say there's no new high. Then going all the way through to Tuesday, if there's no new high, but instead there's a close below the low of Thursday. That was yesterday, Thursday, and that was the low of 307.13. Wow, that's five points lower. I don't know what's going to do that because even applied materials, which was really weak at the early part of the day, is now is weak again. It had a spectacular rally off the low. Uh, it opened at 150.97, spiraled up to 156.45, and now it's gone to a lower low. It's at 150.43 minus 8.31. Another clue that not everything is in sync, just like the Dow and IWM are not in sync with the S&P and the uh, QQQs, the NDX 100. So we've got the same thing with in sectors. And what did it do? It made a a 109.00 round number all-time high applied materials, AMAT, A-M-A-T, had an inside day on Wednesday. Thursday, tried to take a new uh, take out the high, tried to try to try to 158.98, pulls back and then gaps down this morning, fills the gap and now come de coming down even more. This, these are clues to say not everything is in sync. Remember the IWM Russell 2000, this rectangle formation that I was looking at? Well, that, that's gone on since April the 5th. Um, April the 5th of this year, 146 round number high. It goes all the way down to the 100 and, what was that, 14? Yeah, 114.39, uh, May the 14th. And then what does it do? It rallies and it can't break out. It stays in the rectangle up and down within this beautiful channel, sideways channel, rectangle. And then it breaks out. Wednesday, bam, it breaks out. Thursday, it goes higher. Friday, it goes to another high. 
and now it's pulled back. And the rule of thumb is just like the IWM, although this went a tad higher, but it normally says in the rectangle formation, a, a long sideways rectangle, there's a chance it can break to the upside. But this inside rectangle is so powerful. It's such like a magnet that it's going to draw the price back in at some point, and then you get a test of strength. So that's applied materials. All right, we want to look at the... Um, the TLT, which is the bonds, Lehman 20 year Treasury Bond Fund. Good move up today at 148.22. It is now what happens very often is when markets become weak and stocks start to pull back, money tends to flow to the safety of bonds. We're going to be watching this closely. I think I need to talk a little bit more about bonds and interest rates. And I had a question about NVIDIA a moment ago and absolutely beautiful analysis. Eddie, you've got it exactly right. This is leg E at a 330 round number high today in... Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Let me just do this one more time here. Just NVIDIA, Eddie sent in a chart, all notated the chat point method. Eddie, look at this one. You're absolutely correct. It's got that rectangle. It broke to the upside. It's the same pr principle, but a little bit shorter, so it doesn't have the same magnetic effect in the middle there in the 306 area, 305. Now, this had a round number, 330.00 high, but it's trying to push it. And I would not be surprised if some of the very best, like the Amazons, like the NVIDIAs today, just 
the stocks that have been on fire get a little bit more buying as some of the fund managers are starting to pull back and take money out of other areas that are not working. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, this is uh, yeah, it's a spectacular company. If you look to the right here, I love this. You see these notations? You see it says right here, E with a down arrow at 202.76. Oh, the week. This is the month uh, of October of 2018. This is exactly where it was. Then it gets split, and that split makes it the equivalent of $73.19 October of 2018. For a percentage move down, it went really sharply down to the 40 to the 31.12 area. So the brand new move. My rule of thumb is that spectacular stocks like an Apple, like a Facebook, like an Nvidia. Like the old days, Goldman Sachs, they don't do that anymore, but that have splits. Eventually, you've got to have patience, but eventually get to a fantastic level that sees, and that's why I often keep in the stock split pre-notation pre in, because all of a sudden, look at this. Uh, you can even see that little circle formed right there. That's an uh, Chapman Wave Instant uh, Restart Peak D. Look at this. I've got all the notation there for NVIDIA. And um, that, it's just so interesting that it happens. All right. So it's leg E in the daily chart. I haven't got any alternate count at this point. The MACD is making the second arch. And that's where you usually start to see some tilting over, a little rollover. That if it, it, it's still got time to do go a little higher before it does that. The stochastics pull back under 80% to 73% on balance volumes. Good. Okay. So within context, spectacular stock. Obvious, I mean, it's so easy to look at this and say, gee, it's a little overboard. It should have a digestive phase. Yes, yes, yes. When? We'll see. And the only thing I can say is there's a close next week at any point below 300 and a close below 317. It's a 329 right now. Um, be careful. I think there's a sideways move going on. And a push into the 340 says, wow, there could be even leadership, single stock leadership in each sector that can take the market a little higher. So uh, good, good analysis there. A couple of questions came in. And that and that. I did it. I did that. I did that. I've done that. Um, yes, I did that. Uh, Basil. AMKR is in leg D. AMKR. AMKR. I used to follow this. I've forgotten what it is right now. I remember the symbol. Oh, that's anchor technology. Amcor technology. A peak E D a D in the in the monthly chart. A leg A B hmm, C. No, it has to start from here. Uh, the weekly chart is pulling back quite sharply, and the daily has gone to peak A, peak B, peak C, and leg D. Absolutely correct. What's the question? A um, couple of sources that you fill the gap from 10.11. Do you see it going higher? I love the fact that today in a kind of a mixed market, it's up 44 cents. So my immediate thing, as I, many of you know who see my work, I just grab the left side high right there at about 26. I pull back to the lows in the 21s. I drag it across. And then I say, is there a cup formation? Yes, there's a cup formation. Grab that. Make the lows. Go to the right. I look at it and I say, was there a Chapman Wave instant re uh, sorry, a Chapman Wave left side, right side price tie match in the cup formation using the plumb line? Well, here's my plumb line right there, right there to the low. And then was it a double low? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. Uh, 2166 and 2168. Whoa, that was the low. All right, so I've moved it to the right a little bit because it didn't look like it would make make it. Let me just do that, and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. And then I can give you the analysis. See, all of this is relatively, doesn't take much time. After if you're putting a lot of money to work, doesn't it behoove you to take a little time to think about what you're doing? And then what I do is I take a left side low, and I try to, that's above the actual low that started the whole move. And I move it to the right like this, and it gives me my Chapman Wave inside wedge target repellent line. If it's on the way up, it's a target support line on the way down. Look at this. Hold tight. Yeah, we got just fascinating to do this. Look, and there's this line that took that left side low. The actual low was right here at 
2166 on the 26th of October. I did move it. I like to choose a doji candle as the actual preference point for a fulcrum move to the, from the left to the right or pivot line or I like to call it a plumb line in the middle. This is just off the middle. There's your line and it's got a little bit to go and it says there's a chance that by Monday or Tuesday it could hit this high right here of 26.11. It's a 25.31 right now. But it also says <clears throat> that the MACD is strong. The stochastic's fabulous at 93%. On balance volume is a tad overbought. So within the next day or two, you should see some kind of a red candle. Doesn't mean to say smash the down, just as a red candle. And the other thing is, <clears throat> in a conservative way, I'm looking at this that it could, I could lower the line. No, I can't because that it, I always have to hit the exactly, and I did. So that just says if it if it fails to get you by Monday or Tuesday and pulls back to the 2450s, holds nicely, and then has another rally. It says by Thanksgiving week next week. It should try for the 2611 area. So far, very good action. And I'd only go on the daily. The weekly needs other analysis. I hope that helps you, at least for Amcor. Uh, next question I had was Baba, B A B A. I've been warning about these stocks and saying, I certainly, Baba, I didn't want to touch Baidu with something different. <clears throat> Baidu, uh, Alibaba is B A B A. Uh, Baidu is a Baidu group, is a group of what? Baidu uh, Inc. Um, this is like, the, I think, it's, I believe it's like the Google in China. I have been warning about these saying, yep, you could have a bounce, but be really careful. There's a problem. So the question came up, uh, someone asked me about the Chinese stocks. And all I can say is, you know, we've got so many stocks traded here on the American exchange from America, from some other Netherlands, other countries that have really proven themselves to be of the capitalistic mindset, which is kind of what you want in the capitalistic stock market. I don't know why you want to get out of it. I avoid uh, subscribers. No, I hardly ever go for a Chinese stock, no matter how uh, uh, how good it looks. I just, I just don't understand. I mean, they do things that you wouldn't expect at moments you just wouldn't expect. So all I'm saying is be care very careful there. I'm sure there's some great companies. I just don't quite understand the mechanism there. Also, there's a way of suddenly uh, uh, focusing on either um, some group or some stock and saying, hey, we don't like it. This is China speaking. We don't like the way you're doing business and we don't like the way you talk to us. Watch out. And boy, when you watch out, that's what happened to Baba. And look at that. I mean, B A B A, not B A B. B A B A. Whoa, time flies when you're doing the afternoon show. Um, Basil Chapman singing for the one and only Tom O'Brien. And anybody here, Tom and Tommy, the little junior, 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 Tom and Nissi, uh, this morning? The great show. Tommy Jr. with his, with his kid. And how he managed to go a whole hour with a, with a child, a nine month old, was amazing. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 258. S&P's down five. That's a trap. Be right. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Hi folks, we're back and look, there's another arch formation. I'm all, I'm all about uh, uh, patterns and the ma major patterns are straight up and straight down. Look, straight up and straight down. Cup formation, arch formation, or a combo one and two, which should be green going up and retesting the high. What happens if you go above that high? And the H formation, called the dreaded H because it can go much lower. What happens when you test that left side low? And here we are, we're gonna see what happens. We broke that left side low and three bars later wasn't able to go. And that puts a limit on the upside, you can see. I, in fact, I'm really thinking now, I'd love to do another one of my all day webinars where we go through this throughout the day with the different time frames. Let's go to Mark in Fort Collins. Mark, how are you? Hey, you get to talk to me again today. It's my day off, so I thought I'd call you um, another time. Hey, I'm looking at the UUUU. Uh, been in it before, had a nice profit, got out, missed, probably lost, a, didn't lose a point, but I missed out on a point on the upside. I got out in there, maybe a half a point, got out in the high 10s, and it went into the kind of mid to low 11s. And I'm looking for a rebuy. It's looking like it's doing a one-to-one -one down on the daily. The yes. weekly looks like it's only in a peak B, and then the monthly looks like it's already made a D or more. So let me know what you think. So what we're looking at, so folks, uh, Mark is just the, the letters, what he's talking about is in the Chapman Wave Notation. We don't have to get into that. We're looking at the bigger picture. So if you're looking at UUU, which is Energy Fuels Inc. Uranium, the uranium stocks had a fantastic move. Look at this. It goes from 0 0.78, 78 cents March of two, uh, 2020, to a high of over 11. I mean, that's that's a nice gain. This is in the yeah, materials. So let's see what happens here. We've got a trend line right there. My target just based on the, on the expanding wedge. This is the exact opposite of the Chapman Wave falling axe formation. This is the expanding formation. This is almost the upside down one that we're looking at. It says that if there is a break, having gone all the way to a peak F, if there is a break of the 50 period moving average or this trend line, and I'll give you the numbers here, of 844 over the next three, four days, even if it bounces, it doesn't matter. If it keeps coming back down, then that weekly chart might be changing some. We're looking at, um, based on the technicals, it looks like uranium will get another bounce, another, another bounce, I should say, another favorable uh, favorable buying phase. I don't think it's yet. When you've had such a big move in something like one of the, one of the uh, metals or some kind of uh, one of the commodities, you, usually you have quite a bit of a, a digestive phase. And I think that, that you're right in holding off. But what I would do is this: I'd rather look for a pattern of maybe over a week, a pattern where it suddenly stops and then it makes a trading band. And that trading band is within about 57, maybe 63 cents. Just goes up and down and up and down without making significant lower lows, but is trying to form a base. If it does that, give me a yell. We'll have a look at this together. 
and it might be where it's starting to take off again. But this is one ugly candle in the weekly. And if it closes underneath the low of this week so far, that is at 9.12, if it closes under that next week, you really have to wait. So those are the parameters. If there's a bounce, it has to bounce to the 11 30, no, the 10.30 area and hold. And then I think that's good action. Let's see what happens. I hope that helps you. Yeah, it does. It looks like on the daily it's doing a one-to-one -one down because it broke the left side. Correct. Left volume Absolutely. and that would take it to 795 if you did a one-to-one -one, so that's right and that would be the, the the chapman wave eiffel tower straight up and straight down if it does it without any breathers to the upside um yes so just give it a little time it's had a good move and this is a good stock just hold off energy fuels in uranium thank you so much for calling have a great weekend so uh folks let me just do this i thought what i would do is let me do i, I did a uh, uh, i was a guest uh, speaker at the Boston Investors Group, I think it was a Tuesday, Wednesday, T Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, and I thought I was kind of, I was happy with what I did in terms of not getting too involved with a exact price points, but just to give you the picture, and the picture says, look, if we are going through, we've gone through the COVID phase, now we're going through another phase where there's been the, 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 the where the virus has the, the core of the virus has been taken care of to a very large extent here in the United States. But then you get that residual, and that residual is really the part that we've got to really think about in terms of what is it doing to the economy. Well, if you look at RCL, which is Royal Caribbean Corporation or Caribbean Car Corporation Cruise Lines, um, look how it's stalled in the monthly chart of this spectacular fall from the 130s down to 20. I mean, really. Uh, and then it rallies sharply up to the 100, almost 100, and then it gets stuck in the range between 70 and 100. Well, it's gone to a peak D in the weekly chart. There's a sell mode in the weekly chart right now, based on the close in another 15 minutes or so. There's an Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down failure pattern at a peak A. Looks like an uppercase A in the daily. So this is, I mean, this is on the hopes of everything coming back and people uh, traveling again. And this is no, this is really not such a good sign. Look at Jets, which is the, um, Jets is the U.S. Global Jets ETF. This is the United States Airlines, right? It's an airline index, the United States Airline Index. Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down, uppercase A pattern, and it's down at the 22 level after today, hitting 21.79. It was just at 25s the other day, and now it's, this is not a good sign. And this is saying, be careful, there could be what the high-grade copper is saying, maybe internationally, that maybe there's a little bit of a slowdown internationally, because copper is kind of a, in a, in a, kind of a barometer for world economies. Look at the wood, which is the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF, stuck at the bottom of the range. Uh, spectacular all-time high, way back near 98.98, uh, uh, .98, May of 15th, the week of May of 15th, pulls back pretty sharply to the 83s. Bounces very well, but all stuck in a range. That's saying worldwide timber and forestry ETF, maybe there's a bit of a slowdown here. And yet you've got the IYT, which is a transportation index, kind of ba based on like CSX uh, rails, um, Y, the uh, um, trucking. You've got a lot of things working well, except maybe the airlines in the sector, just like we saw the divergence between applied materials, say, and and NVIDIA, so you've got a divergence between the, the, the airlines slowing down, but the, the, the working horse, that's the, the trucking and the rails, have been very good. Look at this, 287.40 all-time high in the IYT, the transportation index back in May, plummets down to the 240s, rallies back to 281. So I had a question come in a little while ago. Oh, did I write it down or did not? I did write it down, didn't I? Please, please, please. Double tops. Oh, no, I forgot to write what it was. Uh, exact double tops. Ah, anyway, so I wanted to show you how markets can go back to almost exactly the same price point, even after severe pullbacks and a huge time lapse. What, the, what about the IYT? Oh, the IYR. There we are. Go to the IYR. The IYR is, in fact, the REITs index. 
Yep, there is. 111 uh, was the high back uh, two and a half weeks ago. But you go back um, to, to September, it was 111.44. It pulls all the way back to 101 and bounces back in the V-shaped pattern, then stalls at 111.47 within pennies of the previous high. And that just says to you, there are resistance levels you can monitor. And that's what I'll talk about. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. Final segment. Let me just do this real quickly. I won't talk too quickly, but I'll say what I want in brief time. The XLF, the S&P Financial Spider Fund, made a high of 40.86 on October the 26th, making lower lows and lower highs. That's, that's, that's the, how you decide whether the thing's in a buy mode or a sell mode. And this is in a sell mode. That's the daily. The weekly chart is still holding pretty well, though it's testing the 14 period moving average. You'll know a lot more Monday or Tuesday. Now, make it simple. If yields are able to rally, that means that bonds start to pull back instead of rallying them. Rallying makes them, the yields lower. If, in fact, what we see is that yields, money, instead of uh, flowing from the uh, equities that are, are a little bit volatile, selling that is, goes into the safety of bonds that makes bonds rise that makes the yields come down but if at any point for the for xlf to really work again you want to see yields come go higher and bonds come down so this is now a digestive phase in the xlf so just be careful let's go on what i want you to say is within the smhs 
there is something that says maybe we're forming a top. We won't know that for subscribers to my opening call. We've taken some positions today. Are very, um, we've never done, well, no, we haven't done this. We, we've done this in one particular area for the first time in quite a while. Another area we had success in this. I don't know if it's going to work. But in fact, we have over the last two weeks start, or three weeks started the shorting and taking profits in our long positions, taking nice gains off, just trying to build up a cash position. I'm not saying it's the end of the world. I'm saying there's a consolidation that's going on here. You've got to respect it. It's in certain areas. It's not in others. If you're in the area that's pulling back, just do a little whittling, take a little cash off. It's always great to have cash around. for. There's always a sudden surprise to the downside. You want money to be able to get in. So that's all I'm saying. Just And I'm getting daily charts, and the daily charts are what I'm working at, and only when the weekly charts start to weaken do you get a deeper consolidation. And watch the VIX index. If it ever starts trading above 20, that says be real careful. Holding at the close above 20, then you got to be careful. Have a wonderful weekend. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. And thank you to Tom O'Brien for letting me sit in. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you Monday, regular time for my show, 10 o'clock to 11. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Building wealth.